Okay, dear friends, we are back again. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hub. The virtual machine would be connect the dots one. I will put the link into the description section below, so that you can download the image. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's get started. To save time, I have already imported、uh, the virtual machine image into the virtual box. So I think now we can go into the Kali Linux. I mean the Kali Linux virtual machine. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-four by Net Discover two. And I also、uh, did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the virtual scan, the script scan. I also did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash, and the lots of. Uh, open ports. So now, I, I, but I think you can see、uh, bes- the SSH、uh, is running over a different、uh, port number, which is not twenty two. We need to m- keep this in to our minds. And but also, I think you can notice there is. An NFS service or network file sharing service. For me, of course, this is depend on、um, depending on a different person、uh, to do the penetration. But for me, if the virtual machine has NFS service running or installed、uh, for the immersion stage, I'd like to. To do these these service or NFS first, so let's do it now. We can use the show show mount, show mount, and、uh, the option or command is E, and、uh, we can specify the IP address. Yeah, this virtual machine has one share. The name is Morris, and we can create the the directory to mount this、uh, to this share, and we can make the R share data. Okay, and then we can use the mount and、uh, type is NFS and the IP address. Home, Morris, and the local directory or the mounting point is share data. Yeah, no problem. We can go to the share、uh, data. Yeah, amazing. There is one directory, the SSH. We can go to this directory and we can cut the private key. For this user or Morris, although now I-, I can tell you, although we can get the private key, but、uh, as you can see, in this home directory of Morris, there is just、uh, public key, and we cannot、um, create a file in this directory. For example, like we can touch text txt. We this is read-only file system, so it means that, or in other words, we cannot like cut the private key to the authorized keys in this SSH directory. Yeah, permission denied. Read-only. So we need to stop. We need to stop for this direction. We need to 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 do more immersion. This virtual machine is not as easy as this. Okay, so we 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 just、uh, 
lived. We, we, I, I think we do not need. We just know that there is one user. The username is Morris. That's all. So we can quit this、uh, share directory, and、uh, now we need to do some immersion for other ports like eighty port. Okay, let's use the new private window model mo mode. Ex excuse me, and we can visit this and.、Uh, When the browser is loading、uh, this site, we can use the command Q to see whether this website or this site has robots file. Robots file, but not found. And then we can use the link tool to do this immersion for us. Yeah, because I have already configured the network adapter of this virtual machine as host only. So some JavaScript code in this site or in this page cannot make a collection to the outer site, for example, to the Cloudflare. So it will cost a bit long time to be loading to save time. I don't. I don't want to waste to waste time, so we can. Yeah, as you can see, we have already. The nickel has already give us some information like、uh, hits. Okay, we can get、uh, this file back. Yeah, remember keep your emulation game strong. So I think now we need to use the GoBuster to do some directory emulation. And、uh, we can use the word list GoBuster. Yeah, I like to auto complete this command. Yeah, we have already identified the. It seems it's very important directory backups. We can take a look at this directory backup. We can use to open under another tab backups. But nothing useful. And also there is backups HTML, and、uh, similarly, and also we can check the source code for this page. So I think, but、uh, GoBuster has already identified another directory, which is my site. We can. Access this directory, and there's some、uh, cascade, a style sheet file, and also the the J JavaScript file, and、uh, there is register. We can open、uh, this file, and、uh, this is the login window. But、uh, before we try to like try the the weak credentials vulnerability or some the SQL injection vulnerability, we can check the source code for this page. You can see the form didn't have the action option, or how do I put it? We this re register ah.、Uh, Page or sign in page is not working properly, so I think this some sort of rabbit hole. And now we can 
go to the uh, this my site directory again. I think you can notice there is one very interesting or suspicious file. C this is not a standard CSS file or Cascade style sheet file. So I think we need to take closer attention at this file. We can open in the yeah, and uh, this. We have already downloaded this file. I think we can interrupt this direct immersion and we can move the file we just downloaded and to our working directory. We can cut this file. Okay, I think this is the this the first thing is that this is not cascade style sheet file or CSS file. This is the JavaScript uh, code instead. But this is not a standard or normal JavaScript code. This we can call it um, GSFuck code. It means that uh, uh, such code just uh, uses six characters to write the code, the GS code. And we need to, yeah, as you can see, there's some variables like B1, B2, B3. And uh, I think we need to combine uh, those, those variables. So how to do it? Because the browser, the browser, can run the JavaScript code. And now we can, maybe we can, yeah, and uh, go to the console. And we can use the console lock b1, b2, b3, b4, b5, b b5, b6, b7, b8, b9. So what's the last number for the variable? Let's scroll down. Yeah, b7, b8. b10, I think we need to combine uh, these variables up to B10. And let's hit enter. Yeah, we have already combined all these B series of variables. And we can copy all passages. And then we can go to the website. Yeah, I have already open up this website to save time and uh, I just copy of course this is not uh, JavaScript code we just remove it and also this one no we do not need this one and uh, I think yeah Oh, maybe I made the wrong copy. We can copy again. Copy message. And now... Paste in here. We can remove the last line. This time should be working well. I hope, hopefully. And let's... Decode. Yeah, you are smart enough to understand me. Here's your secret. So I think this, the, this is the password. And we can make a note of this information onto our pad. Try to guess this noise. So I think the, although just now 
we have already identified one user name, which is Morris. So maybe this is another user name. We can try it. We can make a copy. Sh Norris. Oh, we need to specify the pod number, which is not a standard pod number. Yes, and paste the password here. Okay, we successfully log in to the target via SSH. And we got the user flag here. Okay, and now what can we do? Uh, we can go to the FTP directories, files. Okay, we need to download this file for analysis. But before do that, we need to check whether the knowledge has sudo privilege. But we didn't know the password. Okay. So... We can cut the backups. Oh, gibberish. It's okay, and also cut the cut the game. Yeah, also gibberish. And cut the hits. Yeah, pet spin. Uh, I don't know this information is used. What this information is used for? And I think we can download because just now we have already seen this file. Yeah, not uh, backup file. And uh, so how to download? We can we can use the SAP right SCP game and can it? We need to go to our working directory. We can make a copy of this pass and just paste it in here. Yes. Okay. I think we have already downloaded this file and uh, Maybe we can use the strings command to see whether there is some interesting information inside uh, in, this, in this image. I think this is the image. So we can use the like x2. Game. Yeah. So the comment section. I think uh, this message is encoded in Morse. We need to decode this message. We can make a copy and go to our subchef. Okay. And we can select the operation as Morse, Morse code. Yeah. So, hi, Morris. You've made this far, far from, far, far from heaven. Wanna sit here now? Haha, -ha, you surely missed me, didn't you? And I'm saving the getaway to my in a secret file. Okay. So we can go back to our, we need to do some, for the more basic local immersion, backups directory, nothing here, and go to the WW 
directory. And here, as you can see, secret file. Yeah, I see you are here for the password. Holy holy, battery is dying. Mention it below for reference. So I think uh, this why in this directory this there is one file, the swap file. So I think because the battery is dying and it will uh, this file will be temporarily generated. And maybe this file has some password information or credentials information. So, but uh, we cannot uh, use the. For example, we can use just now the SCP to transfer this file for us. We do not have a permission. Yeah, permission denied. But uh, as you can see, actually we can download this file from browser because this file is under the HTML or root directory of website. So we just make a copy of this file and go back to our browser. And we just put in here. Yeah, as you can see, we successfully download it at uh, this file and we can we can move from downloads directory to our working directory and uh, of course uh, we can check the file type yeah this is the vim uh, swap file we can use the strings as you can see, I think this should be the password for the user Norris. So now we can sudo again Norris. So not this one. So maybe this is another user. It's okay. We can open up another tab. SH. SH Morris. Oh, we need to specify the port number. And uh, paste the password here. Okay. So I think we got uh, another shell with another user, Morris. So what can we do we need to use we can we need to upload the the nimpiers shell dot nimpiers dot sh or shell script to the virtual machine and then uh, this shell script will emulate some vulnerability or misconfiguration and uh, if it can find out such a thing and then we can do the local privilege escalation and we can go to the temp 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 directory and then we can open uh, another tab we can copy the nimpiers shell script and we can set up the web server and we can get this shell script yeah no problem but we need to modify the privilege settings for this file and the run of course the nimpiers shell script is very important too when we do the local privilege escalation so we wait for this two to be completed and then we can see whether we can find out such vulnerabilities or misconfigurations or credentials. Yeah, a lot of outputs from the Nimpiers.
Okay, it's done. Let's come back or scroll up to see whether we can find some some points where we can do the privilege escalation. Such such information should be、uh, colored in yellow or red. No. No. As you can see,、uh, this ta command has capabilities to read and to search. So maybe we can utilize this command ta to read the root flag here. So how to do it? We just、uh, use the ta and.、Uh, C, V, V F, and、uh, loot. Permission denied. So maybe we can use another user, Morris, to run the ta. Again, we can go to the temp directory, and we can use the ta c v v f and、uh, loot. Yeah, no problem. So this the Norris can run this the command or of ta, which is very good. And now. Yeah, we can go to. We can then we can untar、uh, this file, and、uh, we can use the tar. This time, we use the X option. Yeah, we got、uh, the content of this file. We can go to the root directory. And then we can get the root flag here. Okay, so although we didn't get the root shell, but、uh, we have already successfully retrieved the root flag here. So okay, so that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.